FBI Special Agents Fox Mulder and Dana Scully explored the strange world of the X-Files for more than a decade, unraveling government conspiracies, performing alien autopsies and denying the clear romantic tension that seemed to drive the two oddly paired partners from one impossible situation to the next. But last we saw them, the co-workers had donned swimsuits and were finally relaxing in a rowboat in the middle of a vast ocean, bound for somewhere that was surely more pleasant. Though series creator Chris Carter left us believing that Mulder and Scully were headed for a sunnier and presumably more romantic future, he and the show's massive legions of fans often referred to X-Files never lost hope that the duo would one day be thrown back into the fray of monsters, mind readers, and the cigarette-smoking man. Their faith will be rewarded Sunday when the X-Files, along with original stars David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson, and that haunting whispery theme song, premieres on Fox with six new original episodes. The revival comes nearly 14 after the show which originally ran nine seasons went off the air, and eight years after its first big screen spin-off. At its heart, The X-Files is a cult show, and it became a mainstream cult show, and it's got that cult show following, so that's what you're seeing right now, said Carter of all the renewed interest. The cult is less underground now because of the internet. The resurrection has propelled Carter, along with the show's two stars, into a non-stop run of promotional appearances and interviews to discuss, as Carter puts it, getting the band back together.